It's the Bullseye! And here's your host, Jim Bowen! Good evening. Nice to see you. Thanks very much, and uh, welcome to this second edition in the new series of Bullseye. Now, we do know that people watch Bullseye from all the four corners of the United Kingdom, but we have found out that people watch us from over the water. Now, just have a look at that card there. There we are. Now, that card, well, it's not a card, actually, it's a bit of plywood. Can the studio audience see it as well? And it's from the Tobias family in Voorburg in Holland. So, apparently, they get us in Holland. Our producer, you know, he's, he's got a soft spot for Holland. He likes the Hague, and not to mention the bells and the teachers <laughs> and the it. But if any of you people at home uh, do know of anyone who watches the programme from further afield than that, please drop us a line down here, and uh, we maybe mention it on the top of the programme. Uh, you know the address, it's Bullseye Television, Central... Well, Bullseye, Central Television, Broad Street, Birmingham. I know the first couple are not from, uh, from uh, Birmingham because I read it on the card earlier on. How are you? Nice to see you. Welcome to the programme. Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> Now, here we are. We've got Gary and Sue from Western Supermen. That's right, yes. Yeah. What do you do for a living, Gary? I'm a quantity surveyor. Cool. Apart from quantity surveyor, you got hobbies? Yes, I like playing football. Play you for a local play. team, uh, Lang Langford Rovers. Lang you team. mentioned that. You <laughs> got that in there. Yeah. Good lad. You right. look a bit of an athlete. And yes. obviously, you're quite fit and in working order. How are you, Sue? <laughs> are you... <laughs> Welcome to the programme, Sue. What do you do for a living, Sue? Uh, I'm the counts clerk. I work for the same company as Gary. I see. So you, time being. Yeah, you, your addition will be good and your multiplication's all <laughs> going right. in perfect working order, isn't it? That's very good. How long have you got now before? before 11 that? weeks. Just 11 weeks? Yeah. Have you any hobbies? See? Oh, yeah, I like 10 pin bowling. Yeah. Do you play together? Yeah. Well, like, you we obviously play. do. <laughs> <laughs> we play in a doubles league. You play in a doubles league? <laughs> <laughs> so I hope it's not doubles there yet. We fancy twins. No, it's only one. It is. Oh, you do it's know only it's only one. one. Yeah. All right. We hope you have a lovely night tonight. Hope you get some nice presents from the new arrival. Have Thank a good you. night with us, Sue. Off you go. Give me a night. Yeah. Great audience, aren't they? They're all rooting for you tonight, aren't they? It's Mike Booth, and you're from Swindon, Mike. Yeah, that's right. And you work, you work for a cigarette company, don't you? Yeah. Oh, you must be fagged out. Mm. It's a, yeah. You're a good dart player, Michael. Mm, yeah, well, you've got to be fair to get on here, haven't you? You know that. Yeah. Who do you play for? Play for the cycle club. Play for the cycle club? Yeah. How, how do you keep the bike still, can you? <laughs> <laughs> do it, Mike. It's a do it, Mike. <laughs> now then, Womble. Now that, well, go on, I've got to ask you. Go on, where did you get Womble from? Well, when they first came out, and the record was in the charts, I, I started work around there, and I was always whistling the, the tune. tune yeah. And everybody calls you Womble? Nobody knows me by my real name. Really? Nope. Can we ask what it is? Are you not prepared to Martin. tell Martin. Martin? Yeah. I thought you were going to say something like Gerbil or something. <laughs> 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 Have a good night with us, Womble. I know you've had a smashing time so far. Go on, off you go. We'll see you later on. I talked to these two boys earlier on, I thought that was definitely a Bolton accent, but in fact you're from Hyde in Cheshire, is that right, John? That's correct. Yeah, and your, your job, sir? Well, I was a gas fitter, yep. ventilation fitter, yep. but now I'm a maintenance plumber. You're a plumber. Have you always yeah. had these pipe dreams? <laughs> <laughs> it's full of pipes, isn't it, your career, isn't it? Listen, what is, what's this about a shower? Well, we installed the shower for a wet person's competition. A, w a what? Well... A wet person's competition? Yeah. What's well, that? Is it, are they incontinent? What is it? What is it? <laughs> is it? What do they do? They just... As they're dressed, they come to the dance and they just get in the shower and they've had a drink. Is that it? No, they get a T-shirt on and... Uh, ah, a wet T-shirt. A wet T-shirt, yeah. Do you get boys and girls in there together? Yes. Really? And what happens? Do they... Yes. Do you really? In the name of this place? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you did very well there, John. Good lad. Now then, John Richardson, what do you do, sir? I'm a corrugated supervisor. A corrugated supervisor? Yes. A kinky sort of job, that is. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You've got a fascinating hobby, haven't you? Well, I collect stamps. Yeah. Which ones do you collect? Are? British. All British? Yes. Well, any sort of British? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you get a lot of pleasure out of it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We hope you get a lot of pleasure tonight with it, John. I know you're a good sport. Go on off you go. Give them all a round of applause. Thanks <laughs> for that, wonderful. You've met the contestants, you've met our smashing studio audience. Come on, all you at home, we'll just refresh your memories again. It's Bullies Category Board, and each category, bonus areas. 
30, 50, 100 pounds if the dart player hits the subject chosen by his partner. So they can win a lot of money. If, in fact, he hits the bullseye, he can score an incredible 200 pounds. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> All right, let's get on with the game. Once the subject's been hit, it drops out of the game, which puts the pressure on the dart players as this part of the game goes on, because there's less for the dart players to aim at. OK, we're sitting here ready to play the game. Questions in the first round. £30 each. Come on, then, Sue, for Gary. Sport, please, Jim. Sport. Come on, Gary. That's quite an appropriate one for Gary, because he's well into sport. And he's quite well into darts. £50 you've got. For another £30, Sue... <clears throat> which Argentinian footballer literally knocked England out of the 1986 World Cup? Maradona. Good girl, absolutely right. If you're on £80, good. Womble for Mike. Faces, please, Jim. All right, Womble, we'll do our best for you. Come on, Mike. Womble wants faces. That's £100. Good lad. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Now then, Womble. Take your time. A good start for you, that. A dream start for you, Womble. Look at your monitors, all of you. Who is that? Jeff Capes. Jeff Capes, no problem. Heavyweight. Good lad as well, actually. Good sport. John for John. Affairs, please, Jim. Affairs. Come on, John. Affairs. Excellent. £50 you've got. Here we go for another £30, John. Between which two countries has the six-year Gulf, Gulf War been going on? Iraq and Iran. Iraq and Iran, good lad, fine, gets you £30. Gives the scores. Very good, this, for the first uh, part of the game. £80 for Sue and Gary, £130 for Womble and Mike, and £80 for the two Johns. Excellent. <laughs> well done, all of you. We do like it when the first part of the game goes well because it settles everybody in well, and we do like to give a lot of money away down here. £50 each we're going to give for the next set of questions. A little bit more difficult, and the subjects that are lit... They're the ones you can choose. Come on, young Susie. Books, please. Books we'd like, Gary. It's not. Yeah. It's in words. So there's no bonus, but for £50, Sue, can you tell me this? Old Lang Syne is known all over the English-speaking world, but who wrote the, the words we sing today? Robbie Burns. Robbie Burns, good girl. Fine, you're OK. Womble for Mike. Places, please. Places. Come on, Mike. Places your partner wants. £50. For a further £50, Womble, what is the monetary unit in Japan? The yen. The yen is absolutely right. Gives you another 50. You're looking good. John for John. Britain, please, Jim. Britain. All right, come on, young John. Britain we'd like. £50. For another £50, John. Where in Britain is the Britannia Royal Naval College for officer cadets. Dartmouth. Dartmouth is right, which gives us £130 for Sue and Gary, £230 for Womble and Mike, and £180 for the two Johns. Well done. <laughs> Round three. You're all playing the game extremely well tonight. We're thrilled to bits for you. £100 a question now, you know at home, of course. You can imagine what they're feeling like now, can't you? Question's more difficult. And, of course, the dart player skills are even more extended now as we've got left show business, history, books and spelling. OK, come on, Sue. Showbiz, please. Jim. Showbiz we'd like. Showbiz we'd like. Has knee done well for you there, Sue. £50. For another £100, Sue, which Birmingham pop group had a hit with their first single, Pass the Duchy? Musical youth. Good girl, yes. You've nearly gone blank there, haven't you? You just came. Good girl. Well done. 280 quid. You're looking good. Womble. History, please, Jim. History. Come on, then, Michael. History we want. Is there. £50. For another £100 for your Womble. Which ancient earthwork was built in the 8th century as a boundary between Wales and England? Offers Dyke. Offers Dyke. It didn't cost much to build. It was a special offer. <laughs> <laughs> John for John. Books, please, Jim. Books? Yep. You have books. Hello. We want books. <laughs> and that's exactly what he's got. You're a good lad, John. Fifty pounds. For another hundred, John. Paradise Postponed was televised in 1986. Who wrote the novel? Jane Austen. It's not. Sue, you can make a name for yourself here. Is it John Mortimer? 
Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. You're absolutely right, for another 100 quid, which gives us £380 for Sue and Gary, £380 for Womble and Mike, and £230 for the two Johns. We're losing the two Johns, but they're going away with £230. <laughs> John. <laughs> Played well, didn't you? Yeah. You're doing well, but they really did they, they had a purple patch there, didn't they? There. 230 quid. I know you've had a great day. Brilliant. Cheers, yeah. Thanks for having a laugh with you, John. You were lovely. Thanks very God bless you. There you are. Keep your eye on the you know how the game goes. Keep your eye on it. Off you go. Give me a round of applause. They're great, weren't they? Yeah. Look at that. We're getting some great people on this show now. Come on, let's have a look at it. We've got to lose another couple here because it's a traditional match play dartboard. You know what we do, the dart players? Show their skills now, score as many, many points as they can three times round on this board to win a question for their partner. Because the more they score, the more they can earn. So here we go, boys. It's pounds for points. Off you go. Up there, Gary. Come and stand with me, Michael, and listen to Tony. OK, Gary, first round. It's treble five. 20 and 5, so 40. There you have it, Mike. 40 to beat. Trouble 20. Trouble 1. And 20. 83, which takes the first round. Well done. 83 pounds with a question here for you, Womble. He's playing well, your mate, isn't he here? <laughs> what are the Australian wild dogs called? Dingoes. Dingoes is absolutely right. Gives you eighty-three pounds. Gives us three hundred and eighty, playing four hundred and sixty-three pounds. Back to Tony. Okay, Gary. Second round. It's trouble four. Twenty. And twenty. Fifty-two. Okay, Mike. Fifty-two to beat. Twenty. Twenty. And 16, well played. 56 takes the second round. OK, Wombo, for £56, and to almost guarantee you a place on Bullish Prize Board, in Greek mythology, what was the name of the winged horse which became a constellation? Pegasus. Pegasus, good man. Gives us £380, playing £519, and back to Tony. All on the last round, Gary. Still be done. 20. 20. And treble 5, 55. And there you are, Mike. 55 to beat. 5. 20. And 1. 26. So the final round to Gary. Well, Sue, you can't go through to Bullish Prize Board, but a few quid there for the, uh, for the nursery, isn't there? If you get this right. 55 pounds you can have if you can tell me this. It's a long way to Tipperary was a popular marching song in the First World War. If you get this wrong, I'll never speak to you again. Where is Tipperary? Ireland. Yes, absolutely <laughs> right. Now and again, they drop in really nicely, don't they? <laughs> £435 plays 519 So we've got to say cheerio to Sue and Gary, but they're taking away £435. Come on, in you come, the pair of you. Well done. Well done. Super. Really good. Really good, that. Tankards, there you are. You have done well. That will go in the bottom row, won't it, for the youngsters? Yeah, that's it. As my well. youngsters at home would say, you have been brill. £435 you're taking home, but you're not managing it for about 20 minutes' work. It'll take me about two minutes to count this out. Come back in a couple of throws. See you then. Peter. Here it is, chez moi. <laughs> it's small, isn't it? Compact and bijou, Peter. Compact and bijou. You bought this. But not absolutely my first choice. Uh, the sunken bath clinched it. All those um, mortgage problems, you know. Repayment, mortgage, waiver, premium endowment. Why don't you go to the Alliance and Leicester? They gave me a mortgage without all this fuss. When you do find the right place, we can give you the mortgage to go with it. You should get a quick decision with the minimum of fuss. Of course, the garden's an absolute picture in the summer. You get a smarter investor at the Alliance and Leicester.
Occasionally, there comes an experience so magical, there is only one thing you can do. Taste it. Nothing has the special magic of the Toblerone taste. Toblerone. Taste the magic. Get the maximum out of life. Get the max. Get the maximum. Be your best. Get the max. Get the maximum done. Get the max. Get the fun. Maxwell House is the way to the taste of today. Get the maximum. You know. Get the taste, get the max. Cliff Thorburn, he's Snooker's quiet man, but Alex Higgins made him fighting mad. In The Sun this week, read all about his furious fights with a hurricane. Cliff Thorburn isn't pulling any punches in The Sun. From Wiggly Walk to Catwalk, Fatima Whitbread talks about fashion and men. I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. In The Sun. And Crocodile Dundee. Spruce! The sun's gone croc crazy! 500 fantastic free videos of Crocodile Dundee to win! Plus, free entry to Croc Dundee disco nights all over the country! And everyone gets a free tube of Foster's. And Croc of Gold! 30,000 pounds to win on Sun Ringo Bingo! It's all in the number one Croc Dundee Sun this week! Yeah. <laughs> For a fast turnaround, which motoring organisation should you join? Well, Rudd, eh? You are through to the finals, aren't you? Through to the finals, you yeah, But you feel a bit, haven't you? Yeah, I am. Oh, marvellous, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, then, that's lovely, yeah, that's right. And it's, you can relax for a couple of seconds now because it's bronze bully time. Here we ask uh, a professional dart player to throw for charity. We've got a young lady, she was with us last year and she did so well for us. England International, um, with a difference tonight, you'll see why later on as she throws for charity. Please welcome Sonia Ralphs. Take a chance, Sonia. <laughs> it's lovely. You know the bet tonight, Sonia. Let's look. It's one. Twenty. And treble twenty, that's eighty-one. Well done, Sonia. Eighty-one. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty. Sixty. So that's all right. 141, Sonia. Three to go. Treble 20. One. And 20. That's 81. 222, Sonia. Well done, Stuart. Well done. Good girl. How are you? Good girl. Good girl. Well done. 222 times. You're a blooming madam. You really. Yeah. Was it a palmer to last year? It's not easy though, is it? On that night. It's all right though. They'll be glad of that 222 pounds, won't you? Where's it going, Wombo? Uh, the uh, PC Richard Webb scanner, body scanner at Field MH Hospital. Where you live? Right. In Swindon. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, madam, account for yourself. <laughs> How you're playing you well, you were saying. You're playing very well. I am. Since I've uh, been expecting, I've been playing better than ever. Why is that? Do you Less think? practice. I don't know. Just blooming, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, less feel... worry, I think. Yeah, less pressure. A, a little ray of sunshine. Well, not a little ray, <laughs> a considerable ray of sunshine. Thank both right. of you. <laughs> thanks a lot. Thank you, Jim. Thanks a lot. Good Cheers, girl. thanks. Very nice. Always best. nice to have you in the front of the scene. Good well, luck. Give her a nice round. <laughs> Right, your turn now. Your turn to make a name for yourselves down in Swindon because it's Bullish Prize Board. Let's see what's behind Bullish Prize Board for you tonight. In one. Tune into your favourite programme on this 22 inch colour TV. In two. The words will simply flow when you write with these matching gold pens. In three. Fancy an ice cream? Well, as it's a Sunday. No, you can have one anytime with this ice cream maker. In four. This'll do as it's told. It's a child's robot toy. 
in five. Your lawn can be just like Wimbledon. You cannot be serious. Oh, yes, I am, with this super <laughs> petrol lawnmower. In six. For truly elegant dining, this beautiful Staffordshire tableware. In seven. For a beverage above average. Oh, no. What do you want, Shakespeare? It's an espresso coffee maker. In eight. You can have music. Any time, any place, anywhere. With this personal stereo. And the least special prize! In a jam, you'll be streets ahead on this nippy motor scooter. <laughs> right, that's excellent. You've got nine great prizes there. You know the drills. Nine darts, six and three. OK. Be bad or backing in the red. Nothing in this game but two in a bed. When the lights are on, you've won them. All right, do concentrate. Listen to Tony. We wish you all the very best. Do very well. Off you go. OK, Mike. It's no rush. And see you time. That's the bullseye! Oh, you've got the motor scooter. Oh. Good start, Mike. Red, number one. That's the 22 inch colour TV. And red again, number five. That's a lawnmower. Excellent dart. Excellent. <laughs> okay, Womble. Remember what's gone. Black. Black. And black again, not to worry. Mike's going well. And still three darts to go. Black. Red, number eight. That's fine, that's the personal stereo. And black. I've done well. Well, let's have a look at what you've won, boys. You've won the 22-inch colour TV, the lawnmower, the personal stereo, and Bully's special prize tonight, the Honda motor scooter. You've done very well. Come with me. OK. Now, then, you're, you're £519 anyway, so it's been well worth you popping in to see us at Central, hasn't it? The 222 that Sonny you got, that's on its way down to your scanner. It's your prizes. You've got uh, some nice ones there, haven't you? Your telly, lawnmower, stereo and the motor scooter. Do you want to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? You need 101 in six darts, you know by now. Three for Womble and then three for you, Mike. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. The prizes, only your gambling. It's all or nothing with the prizes. Think about it, you talk about it, maybe you've decided. The audience might want to chip in. What do you think? Give them a shout. <laughs> well, now then, they've seen how well you're playing. I'm saying nothing. What do you think? Oh, we've had a lovely day. We're going to take the prizes. Are you taking the prizes? <laughs> well, well, well. Now, I must admit that did survive because, Michael, you were playing very, very well, but it's your decision, and we're delighted that you've had the chance to make that decision because there is your money. It's £519. There are your two bullies. Take them with our... No, take them now, in fact. We don't mind. You can have them now. Boys, you're very cautious, lads, aren't you? Really? You've been brilliant. You've played very well. Womble, Thank you. thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Have a good night. We might have a little drink afterwards. Go on, off you. Give her a round. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Now, I must admit that was a surprise, because the boys are playing well, but we've got another couple here who've got a lot of money, and they could well need that money, the way the family's looking at the moment. Sue and Gary with £435. Let's have a talk to them. Come on, on you come. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, then. All right, that's not a problem. Now, with the family in such a state as it's in, £4,500 is a few quid. How much is that going to mean to you? considerable lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah lot. I can understand that. I can understand £435 being a lot to you. So you, what you're saying is you're keeping it, aren't you? We've had a smashing day and we're going to keep what we've, we've won. You buy some little yeah. bit. Buy a little memory thing from us, won't you, for the youngster? We will. It's a little yes. bit from Bullseye. Yeah. You've been super. All the very best to both of you. Thank You've you. been an absolute delight. Off you go. <laughs> Two guys on here, both with the same name, outrageous characters, a stamp collector and his friend. Both play darts for a cycling club. Let's have them on here with the £230. The two Johns. Come on, lads. <laughs> you get around that side, John. Go around that side. And do as you're told. Right. Now, you've got their £230. Now, you're obviously very wealthy lads, aren't you? Because you must have a lot of money. You don't spend a lot on shirts. <laughs> Right, Jim. Hey, you're going for it. Now, if you win the prize, of course, we know you get this back. We'd love it. We'd love it, because everybody's been so super today, haven't they? Non-dart player first, 101 or more with six, and I promise you, it's a super prize. Come on. Non-dart player first. John, come and stand with me. 
Okay, John, just take your time. 101 or more for tonight's star prize. And the best of luck. It's trouble 14. Another trouble 14. A nine, that's 93. <laughs> Listen, listen, can you handle this pressure? Can you handle the pressure? You're the dart player, John. You need eight <laughs> and three darts to do you it. You dare miss this, you, you'll emigrate. Best of luck. Yes! Yay! Yay! Hey, now look at this. Just have a look at what you've won. Look at that. You need your sea legs and suntan lotion when you take a fabulous fortnight on the Greek island of Lefkas. For your first week, there's homely accommodation in your own villa just a stone's throw from the beach, where you can swim, sunbathe, and learn the basics of sailing in preparation for week two, because that's when you become skipper of your own five-berth sailing cruiser. Under the watchful eye of your flotilla leader, you can sail to those hideaway harbors and coves that make the Aegean Sea such a popular cruising ground. Let the breezes blow your cares away on a bullseye star prize holiday to the Greek island. How's that? Thanks to Sonia Rao, 222 pounds for charity. Absolutely marvellous. We're thrilled to be down here at Central. Watch us next week on Bullseye, because don't forget, you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye! <laughs>